Hey YouTube, my name is Zach and I'm the creator of Cassandra Moore and today I'm going to be doing another follow-up tutorial on the how to make your own programming language series that I did. And today we're going to be learning how to add string values to the language, which will be very important later on. So, let's get started. Now when adding any function to the compiler, you're going to go through three basic steps. First is to add the code that you need to add for whatever the function might be in the AST then the parser and then the code generator. Now for string values we need to change a few things first. Now in the AST there will be a class called declare var with a parental class of stmt. We need to change this to int. It's going to uh, create a little bit less confusion later on. Let's go into the parser and find where it is there. We're going to change this declare var to int. Now let's change this var to int. Okay. Next, back in the AST, under the now int class, we're going to declare another public class. And this one will be called string. It will have a parental class of stmt like the int class. Within this, we're going to have a public string, and we're going to call it ident, and under that we're going to have a public expression. This one will be named expression. Back in the parser, we're going to change, or we're going to add another else if, else if this dot tokens, square bracket this dot index, dot equals, This one will be string. Now, because the code for the integer values and string values are really similar in the AST and parser, we can just copy this code here for the integer and paste it for a string. Now we're going to have to change this just a little bit, change the classes to string. Let's change this to clear part two. Okay. So I gotta change just a few things. And let's change this to string. Okay. So now that we're done with this, we need to move on to the code generator, and there's some errors because the declare var does not exist. We change that to int. And yeah. okay. So under this, under else if stmt is int, we're going to do another else if. Else if stmt is string. Like I said, the code is extremely similar. So, change this to string. Okay. Now all this stuff's pretty self-explanatory. Just add a class in the AST, uh, add its corresponding code in the parser and code generator, and you have a function for the language. Okay. All right, and it's that simple. We've added string values, and you can output string values now. But we need a way to intake string values. We need a way to where the user can type something in, and that can be stored. So the way we do that is we're going to go back to the AST, and we are going to look for a read int. Okay. Under that, we're going to do public class read string. 
this. We're going to have a parental class of STMT. And within this, we're going to have another public string. This is going to be ident. Okay. In the parser, let's look here. Okay. So, under this, we're going to type, we're going to have another else if. This dot tokens square bracket this dot index dot equals and this one's going to be read str for string. Let's change this actually um, for the integer for reading for the read int class to read int. Okay. So now, under this, we're actually going to copy the code for the readint class into the read string class. We're going to change a little bit. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go into the code generator, and this is where uh, it starts to get a little bit different. We're going to do an else if stmt is read string. And we're going to do this dot il dot emit emit dot local hold up. Eh. Yeah. sorry emit dot opcodes dot call type of system dot console dot get method read line system dot reflection dot binding flags dot public system dot reflection dot binding flags dot static no new system dot system dot type Nope. After that, we're going to type in this dot store read line. Oops. Not read line. Read string. STMT dot ident type of string okay so all this is doing is it's calling the method it's using basically it's just using some of C sharps code it's calling the read line method from the console class and it is storing whatever might be read at that point in the read string dot ident and read string that.